This week we're going to deal with cylinders. Those cylinders tend to be very simple in form and shape. For students, they can be very difficult. Trying to get that upper edge, that rim, the oval of that balanced, and the bottom base to sit on the table can be really complicated. So we're going to practice drawing cylinders. We're going to think about them as one point perspective. We're also going to be um, thinking about where our eye level is relative to the top of the rim and the bottom. So this is leading into more complex drawings. Uh, with this, I'm going to be giving you a demonstration in class and following right now. So I'll see you in the classroom. Enjoy. Today we're going to practice drawing cylinders, um, like cups or mugs, uh, and making sure that they look like they're actually sitting on the table and that the ovals look like they're in the proper place. One of the things to recognize immediately is that a cylinder is basically a rectangle or cube in one point perspective. So here I've drawn a horizon line, which is your eye level, and a vanishing point. And so I'm going to draw this, the outline of like a, a cube. So we have basically a cube here. And it goes back to that vanishing point. And it has a certain depth to it. Right? The same thing with the backward the bottom as well. But what we're going to do now is I'm going to go to a pencil and we're going to draw that sphere right into the into the top and draw it down well. One of the things to recognize is that the bottom is the oval is even larger than the top because it's further away from their, your horizon line. If I were to draw out that cube all the way you'll notice that it comes way out here so th that sphere would kind of come something like that if I were able to see through it. You can see that this, this, the oval at the bottom is much bigger than the oval at the top. All right. What I can do is firm this up. I can start erasing some of my guidelines and make this much. Notice how oval I'm making the outlines. I'm not making them come to a point. They're really curving at the edges when they come to the side. So I'm get something like that. Now one of the things to recognize is we're below the horizon line. So the oval is something like that. And as you get further away from the horizon line, you get something like that. As you're at the horizon line, it's just a flat. And then you're above the horizon line, you're seeing the bottom of the sphere or the cube. Or I'm sorry, in the cylinder. So that would be something like this. If that was up there. Here. Down here. That cylinder would look something like that. And I need to adjust them a little bit better. And if you're way down here. That cylinder would come way, way out even more. So here you see the bottom, but you don't see the top. Here you see the top and even more of the top. Okay.